Hey guys, today I want to show you a new exercise for the longus coli and longus capitus muscles. I have a few videos on this uh, on these uh, muscles, exercises for these muscles already on my channel. However, there are a few nuances that I have uh, simply not known about, which I will address today. And also I have found a better exercise that will actually address both of these structures simultaneously, right? So the less, less is more most of the time. So I will show you that exercise today. Um, a common problem with the longus coli and longus capitus muscles is that they are not able to engage due to suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscle tension. I did not address this in the last video, as I said, simply because I did not, uh, I was not that aware of it, but now I am, so we will talk about it today. On this model, we can see the longus capitus here. The longus coli is not shown, but it actually spans from the C1 and further down to the T3, if I'm not mistaken. Between these structures uh, and the throat lies the sympathetic uh, plexus, the autonomic nervous system. And what I have seen in several patients now is that these nerves can actually become uh, irritated, of course due to hinge neck posture, right? But also, also if these muscles are severely weak. Because they are situated between uh, the longus coli and longus capitis and the alar fascia of the cervical spine. So uh, let me show you how to strengthen them. Okay guys, so as I was saying, we have to ensure that we are not clenching the hyoidal muscles. And the reason for this is that when we clench the hyoidal muscles, these will actually mimic the function of the longus capitis and the longus coli, and they will not be stimulated and you will not have progress, okay? So I want you to palpate the suprahyoid muscles, the anterior dig digastric area, and you make sure that they maintain completely relaxed during the exercise. As for the exercise itself, this is how uh, we're going to do it. So you sit in an incline like this. If you are very strong, you can do it supine, but most of you who are looking at this video may not me, okay? For most of my patients, sometimes I will have to put them all the way up to almost 90 degrees because they have so tremendously poor function of these muscles. So now let me show you how to do it. The spine is straight, you gently lean the head back, okay? And you make sure, once again, that superhyoid is completely relaxed. This is very important. It may take you a few tries to get it right. That's fine. That's normal. And you gently tuck the chin while you gently uh, flex the neck once again without any tension in the throat. The slower you go, in my experience, the easier it is not to engage other muscles. If you go fast, you will activate the SEM, especially the suprahyoid, very fast. And, and I'm not going to say it will be futile, but it's not far from it. It is very difficult to get a progress while doing this. Palpating the hyoid, it's relaxed. We want, uh, we want a synchronized movement between occipital cranial flexion and cervical flexion, okay? So we want the chin to tuck and the neck to flex simultaneously. We do not want... Okay, I was interrupted by my phone there, so let's try again. So we want a slow, easy motion. And we want a synchronized chin tuck and neck flexion. We do not want the separate movements like this. Or the other way, neck flexion first and then chin tuck. It has to happen simultaneously. This is how it should occur. And once again, the slower I do it, the better the, the stimulation, the stimuli of the muscles will be, uh, in my experience. The faster you go, the less stimulus it will be, the more cheating. Uh, poor results. Okay, so there we have it. This is my new exercise for the longus capitus and longus coli muscles. 
And these are very important structures. They help us maintain a long neck position. And if you have seen my uh, prior videos, you know that hinging at the neck, it's a very bad thing. We do not want to do that. So we want good habits, good posture, and good exercises, right? Not one or the other, we need both. So I hope you liked this video. I wish you all a very nice day. And if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below. Thank you.